Hello friends, in this session we are going to see how to execute our packages once we have completed our SSIS development. So usually what happens is when you have completed our, your SSIS uh, package, you would try to run and debug it from the Business Intelligence Development Studio or schedule it uh, via a SQL job uh, to run it uh, in a scheduled manner. There is another a way of doing the same of, of when you're trying to execute your package you can use the command prompt utility that is dt exec utility so in this session we will actually be covering your dt exec utility now what is that and how do we use it is what we are going to see in this session as far as your development or SSIS package is concerned the best way to debug your packages in terms of the variable of what all values are passed from one variable to another and they are initialized bits offers you the best, best tracing mechanism and it enables you to do uh, uh, the debugging part very well but once you have a package which is working quite well and you want to uh, before deployment of the package to production as a SQL job you would want to monitor the performance of this SSIS package. Now to do so, I would not advise the developers to use the Business Intelligence Development Use Studio. The reason behind is uh, behind that is twofold. First of all, uh, on an average, your uh, package that you run from the Business Intelligence uh, runs at around 25% uh, I mean it executes in more time, which is around 25% more compared to what you would get uh, when you will run the same from the command prompt utility that is DT exec. The reason being uh, when you are running uh, the package from business intelligence it is uh, running in the debug mode and at the same time the business intelligence interface tries to uh, load all the executables for uh, tracing. So if you have any tracing enabled it will try to uh, uh, log on to that and, and if you have any breakpoints apart from that also I would advise as far as performance monitoring is concerned do use your uh, DT exec utility which Microsoft pr provides now we will see uh, uh, how to use that what we have here in this session is a simple SSIS package that I have developed it is uh, simply writing uh, values to this table it is it is writing the package name and the execution uh, time uh, into this table so I have here a, a very simple table if you see the schema of the table is, is something like this uh, package name and the ex exact timestamp is, is uh, what is there and the table looks something like this now what we are going to do is if once our package runs it uh, I'll, I'll run that from the bits first and then we'll see if I run this package from uh, the business intelligence uh, studio what I uh, what this package does is it, it logs the package name and the execute uh, execution timestamp when the package was executed so fair enough that's as simple as that and now what we are going to do is we are going to see uh, first let's build the deployment utility and get this package to two places uh, we have this package running in the 64 bit uh, runtime and uh, the deployment utility we put this as true from false by default you see this false and we'll say apply and ok and then we'll try to build it and uh, once you build it the package will be uh, in the bin folder of your uh, of your uh, solution you'll find a deployment folder which will have the manifest and the DTSX. Now let's use the manifest to deploy this package on the server. Uh, I'm going to use that and just deploy this uh, quickly as possible on, on the server. I say it is equal server and I'm going to install it on my default server. That's it. Now, if you uh, if we connect to our integration services engine, uh, what we are going to see is uh, an execute utility package already stored in the MSDB file. So here it is. This is the package is, is already uh, installed and stored. Now we'll see how to execute this package from the command prompt utility from the server or and from the file system. To do so. Uh, 
what we have here is we will use DT exact utility now what I want to show is uh, there are uh, two uh, run times which Microsoft enables you when you install your uh, SQL server you will find DT exact uh, utility uh, and uh, which exact utility in a 64 bit and a 32 bit runtime so here you have this utility on the default 100 bin folder DDS bin folder this is the 64 bit utility for you and the other one other one being uh, 32 bit so here this one if you see it is a 32 bit utility for you uh, by default when we run since my computer is 64 bit it is going to open us uh, the 64 bit uh, utility uh, for us now let's uh, try to run this package uh, I'm just truncating this table Just truncating this table now we'll run this package uh, from command prompt now if I run this package the command goes to de exec and I say sq which means the server this is the server uh, uh, the package name sorry and then I say So it says the package name which the package which is stored on the server. So you have to define the server and the package name and, and it will use the Windows authentication that is my current credentials and then the package. So the package is run. This is if you see this package was run which was stored in my server. Now next is the other way is uh, you can run uh, you can also validate the package without running it. So to do so you have just to add the, the hyphen VA so the uh, hyphen uh, or the front slash uh, execute utility is the package name and then the server name and then I say VA which means just validate the package do not run it so it says that the validation was successful for this package the next option available is file path now if I want to directly run this package from the package placed here I'm just trying to run this package which is placed in this path so what I do is I give the path where the package needs to is, is placed and, and the package runs. So you see this is uh, how the package can be run. There are other options also available uh, to you. I mean you can load the, uh, the DTS config file which is, which is having the configurations from the command prompt. Uh, and also override the variables so the next video we are going to see, we will we'll see how to override the variables when we are trying to use this utility from the command prompt prompt the whole idea of this video is to introduce you to use dt exec and uh, not go ahead and, and use uh, any uh, uh, bits when you are trying to monitor or, or, or capture the execution plan of this uh, or the execution time and the performance of the package that you have developed uh, the other point before I, I leave you here is uh, when the package by default is developed in your uh, 32 uh, 64 bit runtime if if we are trying to use if you have anything to do with Excel if you remember in my video I had posted that Excel would only need 32 bit runtime because of the engine issue jet engine engine uses only the 32 bit runtime so if any of your packages are running in your 32 bit mode your 64 bit uh, executable of DTS uh, DT exec wouldn't work so to do so uh, what you would have to do is uh, you will have to change your directory and then load the 32 bit runtime so this is your 32 bit runtime so we'll simply uh, move and load our 32 bit runtime now if we since we have enabled the 32-bit mode, runtime mode, let's try to run this package in, in the 32-bit mode.
Okay, I just need to add a space. Okay. So this package is run in a 32-bit mode and uh, the third package execution is run. So that was uh, about it and, and use uh, the, this utility. It's quite beneficial once you have developed your package and you're just trying to monitor the performance. And I leave you here. In the next video, we'll try to see uh, what does how to overload or override a variable's value using this uh, command prompt utility. Thank you, friends.